Good evening guys, happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, I am here in the kitchen today to share with you guys what, again, we pulled out of the garden. Um, there's actually more. We ended up giving our neighbors a pretty good amount of stuff. Um, she'd actually texted and asked if um, we had like tomatoes, if she could have some tomatoes. Um, Cause I don't know if she was making something or something like that. Um, and my mom was like, sure. She was like, I actually asked Kayla earlier today to go and pick this stuff which she did um and so I went outside picked a whole bunch of stuff my mom was kind of helping too but we also picked a bunch of green beans and then we asked her if she wanted green beans because we still have green beans in our refrigerator and I just keep pulling more off the vines outside so um it is time for um us to spread some of our um wealth of green beans and tomatoes too which is like I said it's crazy but um I'm gonna have to make some zucchini bread because we got more zucchini as well, but let me share with you guys real quick what is on the table right now from what we got. So first off, like I was telling you guys, we got a whole bunch more green beans. It was probably at least like a sandwich bag's worth, but the other thing we pulled was a bunch of sugar snap peas. Those are the only two left. Me and my mom pretty much completely devoured all of the sugar snap peas, um, which we didn't have a ton. I will say, though, we did get more than we've gotten so far from last year. Um, and my mom even said it, too. She's like, I'd much rather grow a lot of uh, sugar snap peas than, like, like pole beans or bush beans um, instead, just because those are so good and you can eat them. Like, I got a bag recently when we went to Aldi. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I get some because we picked up a handful of them maybe like last week or something like that and they were so good and I was just like oh I want some more they're just so like stringy though at like from like buying them from the store these are like so fresh and they're so crisp and oh my goodness they're just amazing like I said me and my mom literally were devouring them <laughs> so we picked a bunch but we also just pretty much ate almost all of them then these were most of the big tomatoes we got. Um, there's still a ton more out there that are green right now. I think there's one in here, this one, um, actually was fell off the vine. It's still green, so neither do fried green tomatoes or green tomato pie, or we can just let it sit and ripen on the windowsill, which is what we'll do a lot of times with any, like, um, like, fruits or vegetables that aren't ripe yet like my mom does it all the time with like nectarines because normally when we get them from the store they're like rock hard then you let them sit on the windowsill for like a day or two and they're nice and like soft and juicy again and like the same thing too even with avocados you pick them and sometimes you know you go to the store and you get them and they're just not you know they're rock hard too when you need them too um you know uh ripen a little bit more which um i normally put those in brown paper bags and then let them sit for like a day or two and then normally by that point they're good um so anyways though like i said we got a bunch these are all kinds of different varieties too we have these yellow ones in here oh my goodness they're so sweet they're delicious got some big and i will say guys too okay so we have this problem a lot with our tomatoes which i noticed was like none of these almost there's no splitting we have had like almost no which means we've had pretty consistent rain and watering and or they've been pretty consistently um you know they've had like you know the the soil has been pretty consistently like wet um because when you get splits a lot of times in like tomatoes and things like that um typically like you know tomatoes you'll notice like i said you know they'll split and sometimes they'll kind of like heal back over a little bit but that's actually from inconsistent watering i found out and we had that a pretty decent amount last year i've seen almost none of it on any of our tomatoes so these are like nice like this looks like something i would pick out at the store but you know in the splitting it doesn't mean you can't eat it or anything like that and so because of that the influx of water that you get from like a a really good rain or a you know like a really inconsistent consistent but you know watering if you're having to water them yourself um you know you'll wind up getting like that split just because that it you know waters so fast and then you know gives it to the, the fruit and then the fruits you know again too kind of blows up from that and sometimes that's why they'll get splits in them um and so like i said i'm so happy that we've had like i said no problems really with that at all this year because we've had a pretty consistent after the beginning of 
like in late spring or early summer whatever it was we were like in a drought for like weeks and then it, we've had pretty consistent rain um jack has watered you know things here and there when we've kind of needed to but we've had for the most part pretty consistent pretty heavy rainfall when we do get rain which has been really nice and i don't think we've really gone a week without getting rain so far um as of like recently um which has been really good and like i said i think it's kind of you know showing off the produce <laughs> um it not like i said the tomatoes not splitting and also too it could be because we used it they're actually in a different place than they were last year because they're closer to our fence so they might be shaded a little bit more which might also help retain the moisture in the soil and it also might um, because the wood chips that we have on top of it might be helping to keep the soil moist as well so again too that's like a consistent source of water and it's not just like again like two weeks with no rain and then all of a sudden we get a huge downpour of rain that's when a lot of times like I said you'll get that kind of again the splitting in the tomatoes which again we really didn't get so we also got which again too another thing that I've gotten more of this year than I have any other year is peppers now these are small little like baby sized peppers but they're so, okay again too so good everything homegrown just tastes so much better they're so much more flavorful but um this is these three have been probably the most um the bell peppers that I've gotten in one year and this isn't even the most we've got so far this year we already picked a couple we still have more outside I also have some of those like salsa peppers which are like a mild kind of um like pepper um, I'm not even sure what kind they are, but I don't think they're jalapeno um, peppers, but they're like probably a little less spicy, I think, than that. Kind of, again, more for like salsa and that kind of stuff. Like I said, I don't know the exact variety. It's just my mom got them. They said salsa peppers. So again, I'm not sure that kind, but I know there's two out there on that little plant, which we got that plant a little later. So I'm actually surprised we're going to get something out of it at all. Um, but again, too, with our bell peppers, we've gotten this these three, which this one is like itty bitty tiny. <laughs> and then and like I said, we've gotten probably at least maybe another three or four earlier so far this year. So again, too, maybe if we get close to 10, that will definitely be more than I've ever gotten off of our pepper plants because peppers, I don't know why we haven't done very well with peppers, but I think, like I said, the consistent rain this year, I think it's been very helpful in the, um, the garden this year with, like I said, more of a consistent rain because like last year, I remember like it kind of rained, then it wouldn't, then it would like, and it was just kind of, um, very inconsistent whereas like I said like this year it's supposed to um it rained on Monday it's supposed to rain again tomorrow so we're not even like going a full week without getting you know more rain out in the garden which is awesome and then we got another big zucchini again this one's not actually too bad um probably won't cut him up and eat him um just like raw or even possibly grilled but I'll probably do a dip another batch of zucchini bread that'll probably go for making about two loaves and then these were all of our our different types of tomatoes we have some in here that kind of look like roma tomatoes but they're not i have no clue what they are we did plant roma tomatoes but these ones are like tiny and they're not as juicy like they're kind of more like roman tomatoes but they're like mini roma tomatoes and that wasn't the variety that i we planted outside so i don't know these are also amazing these are sun sweet tomatoes they're like so they taste so sugary they're like amazing then we have some other ones that are like these ones are a little bit bigger probably like cherry tomatoes and there's like more like grape tomato kind of things and stuff like that in there as well but we have a whole ton of variety we have over 10 tomato plants i think outside possibly even more plus i know there were a lot of volunteers <laughs> that um you know ended up coming back or you know again replanted reseeded themselves from last year but this is crazy and like i said too we also gave some to our neighbor already like a, we gave her a couple big ones i think and then a handful of these little ones plus we also gave her green beans which like i said was probably about a sandwich bag full of green beans plus a sandwich bag full of like big tomatoes and then some of the smaller ones as well so like i said it that was just like <laughs> it's crazy the garden is just blowing up right now um which is awesome but um at the same time too it's a little bit of work like I was out there today um doing while we were picking this stuff I was also pulling some of the weeds and grass out of there but it's like tough to see and to get into them just because they're so um you know there's so much um like you know plants and and vegetables and stuff like that you know, that it's hard to pull the weeds out you know because there's so much so many um like you know the tomato plants and in there with the um the green beans and like stuff like that it's hard to get 
get some of the the weeds actually out of there but i was able to do that we didn't pull any more um any of the herbs we did dehydrate a ton of herbs already but um we've still got um like our herb plants outside are doing so well and even too just last week my mom ended up planting um oregano outside which was the oregano that we got from my aunt on the week like after fourth of july my mom um rooted it and then she ended up she just planted it it is like doubled in size she, since she planted it just last week so if we can even just get like some off of that and we can dehydrate it and dry it out um we'll be looking at you know like again another probably enough to get us through to like next year you know without having to even buy any more plus i mean we already have like our, our regular like you know dehydrated um you know or not dehydrated but like store-bought oregano as well that like i said we will definitely like that'll be a nice little um addition to having more herbs as well and on top of that too the it can still keep growing for like a good another month or two so um even though it's a little late you know um it's still like it's it's awesome that we have that and like i said too we got it so late for my aunt and it was just a clipping you know and we were able to actually like we're gonna get you know fresh oregano out of it is is pretty awesome so um like i said it's awesome that we were able to get that from them and then again to still be able to actually um you know like get a plant from it uh, this year which is also awesome so Anyways, I'm going to get this stuff put away, but um, I thought I'd share with you guys our garden haul for today, which like I said was even more than, you know, what I actually share with you guys because we gave some of the stuff away already and ate some of it too because I also, we did tacos for dinner tonight, so I was actually cutting up tomatoes that we ended up using, so that wasn't even all of it. Plus, I used up some tomatoes to go on my dinner tonight too. I ended up doing like a Mediterranean style like chickpea and um, tomato and cucumber like salad kind of thing. So I used the little tomatoes in there as well, which are so good guys. Like I said, they're like candy. That's why we grow more of the like cherry grape size tomatoes than like big full size tomatoes because we snack on them. Like me and my mom can have a whole bag like that size gone very quickly. <laughs> like um, Between everything that we will just either snack on them or use them for, like I said, you know, I use them. I have a bunch of recipes, especially stuff that I'm going through right now, like that I'm really into like a lot of recipes that use cherry and grape tomatoes so i'm like say eating up a ton of these right now um so anyways though i will possibly have a meyer haul for you guys tomorrow um i did finish my grocery list for there and i should like i said me and my mom are possibly planning on going tomorrow or potentially on friday but i think tomorrow so again i should have that haul for you guys but i'm gonna get this haul put away <laughs> i thought i'd share that with you guys but if you guys did enjoy today's vlog make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new love if you'd subscribe and i'll see y'all very soon Jenny faces tomorrow so bye guys